Yo guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Want to Watch. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a paper towel dispenser. This is not an antique by no means. This is a repop. Um, it was made overseas and it was made very cheaply. So we're going to do what we can to try and give it some upgrades to make it a viable user for the house. I say without any further ado, we jump right into it. Let's go. Alrighty, let's get a good look at this thing. It's um, it's horrible, to be honest with you. It really is. It is cast iron, and uh, I don't know what kind of wood it is. I'm going to have to sand it down to figure it all out, but uh, the wife wanted this for the house, so that's what we're going to do. Start taking this thing apart. A couple of little nuts here. Take this off. Um, I don't like the way they have this. It's like it's threaded through, but it doesn't it doesn't really do anything. Looks like it would just snag the toilet paper roll. Yeah, that's just cheap. Take this side off. If anything, should be able to cut these bolts down a little bit so they're not sticking so far out. Um, my thought was to put a, a rod through there, but then again, I don't know how thick the paper towel roll is going to be. I don't know if that's going to affect anything. So we might have to do a little bit of uh, testing going on here to see what's going to happen. Take these couple of screws out. So the wife wants the metal to be a flat black. So we're going to wipe these down, get the dust off them, and uh, paint them black real quick. And then we will sand this up and get it looking a lot better than what it does. Ugh, horrible varnish. Alrighty, let's get at it. All right, so we'll just let this dry and uh, we'll flip it over, paint the other side. All right, so I was looking at the top piece here. Um, there's such a thick coat of varnish on this. I think what I'm gonna do is throw it on my combination sander. I'll get the bulk of the varnish off here and then we'll come back to where I'm sanding on it with my little hand sander. All right, so let me jump on that. All right, so I got most of the varnish off there. Um, it's not in bad shape. It's not in really good shape either, but we're just gonna hit this with some 120 and then we'll probably stop at like 220. Um, that way it'll accept the stain pretty good and uh, yeah, so let's get right at it. guys know what stain I'm going with. It's my natural 209. Fantastic stuff. I'm going to color that wood pop right back out. Damn fine stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're going to hit it with some Johnson's paste wax. Give it a nice smooth feel. All right, so we're prepped, we're ready. Um, the parts are all painted. I got that nice flat black on there. Um, I do want to hit with a paint pen where it says paper towels. I want to do that real quick. We'll let that dry, and by the time that little bit of paint's dry, everything else should be good enough to go. So let's get started on that. A little bit too much stuff in the way here. Kind of hard to see. Hopefully you guys can still see. Woo. That probably didn't show up at all, but eh, it looks better than not doing anything, I think. All right, we'll let that sit there and dry up, and then we'll get to reassemble. All right, we're going to start putting this back together. I do need to cut a dowel for the paper towel holder. All right, gonna grab a <clears throat> grab a tape measure. We're gonna measure the inside here. Figure out what measurement we need. Cut our dowel. We are gonna go eleven and. Let's say five eighths. Yeah. Eleven and five eighths. Just happen to have a little dowel right here. What was that measurement? Eleven and five eighths.
I'm going to use one of my new Christmas presents. See how this little saw cuts. Nice, so very nice. Can't get it out the bag. They've got an oil on it, so it doesn't, I guess, rust up. But uh, love these little saws. So it's pretty cool. You can read on there. It says um, soft wood and cross cuts, and then this is hardwood down bottom. Pretty cool. Jesus, this thing's like a like a Ginza. Look at that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pulls. Cut that thing in half. Thank you, son. That's cool. All right, let's give it the test. Oop. See, I thought it was supposed to hold it to where you can just pull one, but now you can. All right. And my wife's gonna be all mad because I used up all of her paper tails. I'll save them. I needed them, hon. Oh, there it is. Not that bad. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. The paper towel dispenser is all done. It was a nice little easy project, but one that I wanted to get out of the way. Um, it's going to look nice in our kitchen. So, hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Like always, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.